For many years, Google Photos has been one of the best options, offering free unlimited photo storage. That all changes on June 1st. Any photo uploaded after that date will count towards your 15 gigabytes of free Google Drive storage. To give you additional choices offering free photo storage, we'll count down the top five alternatives to Google Photos. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number five is Mega. Based in New Zealand, this cloud storage and file hosting service offers a generous 50 gigabytes for free for signing up. Just be aware that after 30 days, the storage limit will drop to just 15 gigabytes, so this might not work best for those of you with a large collection of photos and videos. One of their best features and why many people love it is that it uses end-to-end -end encryption controlled by you. This means that no one can see your data, not even the staff at Mega. Just like the others coming up, in addition to being available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, apps are also available for Android and iOS. If you ever need more than the free storage offered, Mega has plans that start at around $6 per month. Our number four pick, Flickr, is one I'm sure most of you have heard of by now. The service has changed quite a bit since its founding back in 2004. Now it's more of a social network with a large community of photographers. For free, you can upload up to 1,000 images in full resolution. Their service also lets you showcase your best photos that you make available, browse works by others, and follow photographers that you appreciate. If you ever have the need to upload more than 1,000 images, Flickr Pro for around $7 per month gives you unlimited storage and advanced stats you won't find elsewhere. Coming in at number three, not as well known as the others, is Digu. The service, based in Sweden, offers a massive 100 gigabytes of storage for free. One downside is the 512 megabyte upload file size limit, which might be an issue if you're uploading large videos, but shouldn't be any problem with uploading photos. On the positive side, they don't have any limits for downloading or viewing any of your photos or files, offers end-to-end -end encryption, and offers a referral bonus up to 500 gigabytes for referring friends. Digu is ad-supported with their free plan, and you do have to log in at least once every 90 days to keep your free account active. If you go with one of their paid plans, those start at around $3 per month for 500 gigabytes with no ads and you get additional features. In the runner-up spot for Microsoft, coming in at number two is OneDrive. Not only is it available for Windows, it's also available for Mac OS, Android, and iOS. Folders backed up from your PC are available online to view or edit without the need to download them first. Files and folders can also be shared with individuals that don't have OneDrive to view or edit. If you subscribe to Microsoft 365, which used to be known as Office 365, this one should be a no-brainer for you. You get one terabyte of total storage included with Microsoft 365 Personal and one terabyte per person up to six people with Microsoft 365 Family. Otherwise, you have the option of the basic free plan, but the storage limit is a paltry five gigabytes. Coming in at number one, our favorite alternative to Google Photos is Amazon Photos. This one is often overlooked, but if you have an Amazon Prime membership, you get unlimited photo storage and up to five gigabytes of video storage. Unlike Google Photos, which compresses your images, photos stored on Amazon Photos are in full resolution. If you're not a Prime member, you can still get up to five gigabytes of free photo and video storage combined. While that's not too great, I guess it's better than nothing. If you ever need to pay for a service, Flickr would be my recommendation with unlimited storage for around $7. With Amazon Photos for the same price, you only get one terabyte. Thanks for watching. Links to the sites mentioned are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. What service do you use or plan to use to store your photos? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our newest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.